all and today i will be speaking about aircraft fuel system this is my brief introduction i am working as aviation manager with air cruise aviation private limited you can connect me on the social media also through this given links so let's get started with the today's topic so starting with the introduction let us get to know what is basically an aircraft fuel system so an aircraft fuel system allows the crew to pump manage and deliver aviation fuel to the propulsion system and auxiliary power unit that is apu of an aircraft fuel systems differ greatly due to the different performance of the aircraft in which they are installed fuel is piped through fuel lines to a fuel control valve which is usually known as the fuel selector this valve serves several functions the first function is to act as fuel shut off valve this is required to provide the crew with the means of prevent fuel research reaching the engine in case of any engine fire the second function is to allow the pilot to choose which tank feeds the engine many aircrafts have the left tank and right tank section which are available to the pilot fuel systems the purpose of an aircraft fuel system is to store and deliver the proper amount of clean fuel at the correct pressure to the engine fuel systems should provide positive and reliable fuel flow through all phases of flight including changes in altitude violent maneuvers sudden acceleration and deacceleration de de so fuel system should also continuously monitor system operations such as fuel pressure fuel flow warning signals and tank quantity this is the brief description of a fuel system of an aircraft the main part of the aircraft weight and most particularly the payload is located in the fuselage in flight this weight is balanced by the lift created mainly on the wings the distribution generates bending movement around the wing root this has a strong impact on the aircraft structure and leads to a define a maximum zero fuel weight in order to limit the stress at these load location on the other hand the weight of the fuel tank in the wings balances the effect of the lift and thus reduces the bending movement so the fuel has to be kept in the wings as long as possible so this is the reason why the wing tanks are the first tanks to be filled and the last one to be emptied and this is no matter the aircraft type so there are various fuel tank locations in an aircraft and this picture shows the same here in this aircraft the area highlighted with the pink shows the location of the fuel tank so generally fuel is uh, stored largely on the wing area of an aircraft apart from that there is some storage also at the tail section of an aircraft so here some description is given so here we have the vent tank outer tank the inner tank and the central tank and this is generally located at the wing area of an aircraft talking about the tail part there is also some of the vent tank as well as the trim tank available here is the another picture of the location of the fuel tanks in an aircraft the area highlighted in green describes the auxiliary tank system next is the area highlighted with the red so this is the tail tank system and the area highlighted with the yellow generally represent the main tank system so this is a brief picture this figure shows the fuel system of a dc3 a selector valve for each engine which allows an engine driven pump to pull fuel to from the main tank or an auxiliary tank 
the fuel passes through a strainer before reaching the pump where it is delivered to the engine. So here the yellow lines over here just shows the supply the supply flow. The green is here for the pressure and red here is for the pressure flow. The color violet shows the fuel vapor return and the blue shows the vent line. Here is another picture of a fuel system. Now talking about the fuel system components, common fuel tanks part include pumps, strainers, fuel quantity indicators, valves to control fuel level or routing and vents and drain. These parts provide capabilities of for fueling, defueling, and fuel system management. First one comes is pumps. The aircraft fuel system uses transfer pumps and boost pumps to deliver a continuous supply of fuel to the engine under all operating conditions. The, under this type, we have the transfer pumps. So fuel transfer pumps are installed in the fuel system to pump fuel from the various tanks of the aircraft to the main or sump tank. There are several different types of transfer pumps. Common ones are electrically driven or ejector type motor flow pumps. So talking about the ejector pumps, here the figure shown in the A part is a picture of a dual seat. Next, the figure shown in the B part is a single seat and the figure shown in the C part is a wing transfer. Next, talking about the boost pump, it is also called as boost pump, LP pump or electric pump. These are normally 28 volt DC powered pumps which are located in the fuel tank. They are primarily used for engine start. All Navy fixed wing aircraft use pressure feed fuel systems. The basic source for this pressure is the engine driven pump. Auxiliary fuel pumps or booster pumps are required in every pressure feed system. They are needed to supply fuel pressure for starting the engine and to supply fuel to the priming system. They are also used as an emergency pump in case of failure of the engine driven unit. After that, there is fuel filters or strainers. Fuel filters or strainers are used to remove contaminants from the fuel. Strainers are also installed in the tank outlets and frequently in the tank filler necks. Fourth is fuel quantity indicator. A fuel, fuel counter or indicator mounted on the instrument panel is electrically connected to a flow meter installed in the fuel line of the engine. When the aircraft is served with the fuel, the counter is automatically set to the total number of pounds of fuel in the tanks. As fuel passes through the measuring element of the flow meter, it sends electrical impulses to the fuel counter. This impulses actuate the fuel counter mechanism in such a way that the number of pounds passing through the engine is subtracted from the original reading. Thus, the fuel counter continu continually shows the total quantity of fuel in pounds remaining in the aircraft. Talking about aircraft fuel valves, valves are used to regulate and control the flow of fuel in the aircraft and engine fuel systems. Shut-off valves. Shut-off valves are two positions that is open and closed valves. The manually operated type is installed to shut off the fuel while a unit in the system is being removed or replaced. Electrically operated shut-off valves control flow during fuel transfer and when fuel is being bypassed because of a defective or damaged unit. Fuel level control valves. 
Fuel level control valves control fuel level in a tank during ground fueling or fuel transfer to the main tank. There is one fuel level control value for each tank, auxiliary tank or group of interconnected tanks. When used for fuel transfer, the valves are located at different levels in the main tank. Fuel is then transferred from the auxiliary tank in the order designed by the manufacturer. During normal operation of the fuel system, the boost pump for all the tanks are turned on before the engine is started. Each auxiliary tank boost pump continues to operate until the tank is emptied. Then the fuel pressure warning light comes on and the boost pump is turned off by the pilot. Thus, fuel is delivered under boost pump pressure to each fuel valve level control valve. The fuel then remains in the tank or group of tanks to which it is connected. So this is another picture which is showing the fuel system of an aircraft. So fuel system can be classified in two broad categories. One, the gravity feed system. Second, pressure feed system. Looking into gravity feed fuel system, gravity feed is the simplest type of fuel system and is used on many high wing and low power aircraft. Fuel from the tanks is fed using gravity, a strainer and a drain allow water and sediment to be removed before the carburetor. The primer pumps raw fuel into the intake manifold or cylinder to aid with starting. High wing aircraft with a fuel tank in each wing are common. With the tanks above the engine, gravity is used to deliver the fuel. The space above the liquid fuel is vented to maintain atmospheric pressure on the fuel as the tank empties. The two tanks that are vented to each other to ensure equal pressure when both tanks feed the engine. A single screened outlet on each tank feeds line that connect to each to either a fuel shut off valve or multi position selector valve. The shut off valve has two positions fuel on and fuel off. If installed, the selector valve provides four options fuel shut off to the engine, fuel feed from the right wing tank only, fuel feed from the left tank only fuel feed to the engines from both the tanks simultaneously. Coming to the system, the tanks, the position of the tank, the tanks, the, the low and middle reciprocating in aircraft gravity fuel system because the fuel tanks are not the engine. Instead, one or pump are used to move the fuel from the tanks to the engine. Each tank has a line from the screen outlet to a selector valve. However, fuel cannot be drawn from both the tanks simultaneously. If the fuel is depleted in one tank, the pump would draw air from that tank instead of fuel from the full tank. Since fuel is not drawn from the board tank at the same time, there is no need to connect the tank vent spaces together. So this is my brief bio. You can connect me on the social media through the given links. The book Pilot Pilot's Career Guide, which is written by Captain Shekhar Gupta, is an amazing book. You can get this book from the Amazon. So that was all about my today's presentation. Thank you so much for listening to me.